There's been knockoffs ever since cavemen have been rubbing two sticks together, but some companies aren't even trying to hide it. So something that's important to a lot of people is the price. At $12.99 for the knockoff and $89.99 for the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, there's a big gap in price there. But you're going to see in the rest of this video, we're going to be talking about where's all that money being spent? Where's it being saved? Is it worth it? The MJJC Pro comes in a nice labeled box with pretty pictures on the side. That's awesome. Also inside the box, it's all laid out nice. It's compartmentalized. You're not going to have to worry about the unit banging against each other in transit, showing up all torn up. Inside the package, you also have all the accessories. A 1.1 millimeter orifice if you have a, a low output pressure washer, and it comes with a hose with the stainless steel ball on the end that kind of gives you that no matter which way you tilt the foam cannon, the always goes down to the low point and gets every bit of foam out of there that's cool so as we open the box at a knockoff everything's kind of packaged in there you know haphazard so damage and shipping is a possibility if this little box tore open some stuff could even fall out it has everything you need to get going though including the directions so even considering everything being jammed in the box it showed up in pristine condition everything was there so packaging ah, super nice but not so nice here, but did it really matter? Leave a comment down below. Do you care about the packaging? I do sometimes. <laughs> so no matter what kind of foam cannon you have, you're gonna have to adjust the orifice size to match your pressure washer. Larger volume pressure washers like the Krenzla or ARs or even a gas pressure washer, they're gonna require a larger size orifice. Otherwise the pump just runs way too hard. But to get thicker, richer, that shaving cream like foam like we all like, out of the smaller units like Karcher, Sanjo or any of those uh, Home Depot style we got to go with the 1.1 now you can play with this either direction but keep in mind if you put too small of an orifice in there yes you're gonna get great foam but your pump is gonna run super hard you're gonna reduce the life of the pump and uh, don't come crying later when your pump blows out from running too small of an orifice but let's go ahead and get it loaded up and get going so we'll start by removing the quick disconnect off the end and you're going to see the orifice right underneath easy to get to flathead screwdriver and it comes right out pop in the correct size orifice screw it in Nice and snug, but not too tight. Screw the quick disconnect back on. I like to open it wide open so we can get the most out of it. This one came with a filter on the end of the rubber hose. You know what? That thing's gone. That's out of here. I don't know. What, what are we filtering? Pond water? Come on, man. And there it is. All set up, ready to go. Let's get this thing in action. So where it matters the most, the build quality. That's where you're gonna see the difference between spending $89 and $12.99. There's a big difference in the build quality. Looking at them side by side, they look almost like a, a direct copy. Uh, the knockoff did a great job copying the looks, that's for sure. All the way around the whole entire spray head, uh, front to back, the thing just looks pretty similar, if not exact. Even the flow control valve, it looks like they used the same mold to do it. But here's where you see the biggest difference. In the weight, you can just feel the weight in your hand. The MJGC Foam Cannon Pro, man, this thing's got a lot more weight. This is all solid brass, good internals. You're gonna be able to run chemicals through this for a long time without any real corroding or any trouble in the future. Now this one now, this isn't solid brass at all. And if it is, it's paper thin. It looks more like a brass coating. It's almost like the color is even not even correct. And where does that come into play? It's obvious going to be less durable running chemicals through it it's probably going to eat into the metal and uh, long-term durability is just not going to be here with this one you can just see how i'm handling it i mean it, it's feather light so take that for what it is so all in all the build quality is just insane with this we could go on all day about it it's got the larger bottom that makes it more stable the larger mouth on the top making pouring chemicals in and out of it a breeze this one very unstable pouring stuff into the top is just a nightmare dumping it out when you're done it's even worse but you know what all in all at 12.99 i'm still a fan i'm still a fan <laughs>
All right, enough of the yakking. It's time to get some foam on the truck. So we'll start out with two ounces of mega foam. We'll pour it into the, the knockoff and we'll put two ounces into the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro and let's get started. So the knockoff comes right out of the gate, laying down some pretty good foam. I gotta give it, it's, the pattern's a little inconsistent, but overall it's a nice thick coating. Keep in mind it's a brand new filter in there, brand new cannon, but wow, look at that, that's pretty cool. Nice thick foam there. We'll play with the adjustment. You can adjust the fan up and down, and boy, look at that, man. Awesome foam. About as thick as it gets, to be fair here. So here we go with the MJJC Pro. Again, a much more defined fan, no thick spots, just, just nice and thick and foamy all over. So MJJC has been a long running favorite. Keep in mind the filter I have inside this, I haven't changed it once. This is original. So uh, it's probably a little degraded on the filter, but all in all, this thing puts down just a nice thick coating. I'm always happy with it. And there's that fan adjustment, same thing. Wide, skinny, it's always a nice consistent coating. Just pouring it out. So here's my final thoughts. The MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, this thing is durable, it's heavyweight, it's gonna give you that great, thick, awesome foam that we like, and it's gonna give it to you for a long time and you're gonna get the money out of this. The value is there for sure, no question about that. The knockoff, that's what this is all about. What about this knockoff? Uh, it's cheaper grade, it's light gauge. Don't expect this thing to last forever. People coming in on a budget and just want like a, a more of a disposable type cannon. That's the way I think of it. I'll use it for a few months. I'll put brake cleaners in this, all purpose cleaners, Wh whatever I want that's corrosive. I'm going to put it in here and um, I don't care if it messes up. After it starts to wear down, the foaming ability starts to taper off and I'm not happy with it anymore. <laughs> right in the trash it goes. No harm, no foul. Get another one, $12.99. That's a good deal. Um, but all in all, don't expect this to be hanging around in your detailing kit forever. It, it's disposable. Um, and you notice here, I just wanted to talk about this too. You probably saw me using the red one on the truck. This is exactly the same thing. It's just red. Uh, this is blue. I thought it looked cooler. It was a better match with the knockoff. So I put that in here for the display. Uh, links to all these will be down in the description. I always appreciate when you use the links. It supports the channel. And come on, subscribe down there. Let's get these subscriptions up i'll keep coming out here and trying to do cool videos for you guys hopefully you like them and we'll see them on the next one here's my thought this does kind of get the hammer i'm gonna give it the hammer right here because 12.99 are you kidding oh man 12.99 that's a deal and i'll see you on the next one yeah and you know you know that's from the carnivore man you know it is